So let's dive into the factors that drive the Great Migration in Serengeti National Park. The primary driving force behind this incredible phenomenon is the seasonal changes in rainfall, vegetation, and food availability for the migrating animals. You see, the Serengeti is characterized by a unique climate with two distinct periods, the dry season and the wet season. The During the dry season, water and food become scarce, making it difficult for the animals to survive. On the other hand, the wet season brings abundant rainfall, which leads to the growth of fresh grass and vegetation. This in turn provides a rich source of food for the migrating animals, like wildebeest, zebras, and gazelles. Now, these animals have evolved to follow the rains in search of food and water. As the dry season sets in and the grasses start to wither, the animals begin their epic journey towards the greener pastures that await them in the wet season. Water. This migration is not a simple, straightforward journey, but rather a complex and dynamic process that involves a circular pattern covering approximately 1,800 miles. During their migration, the animals face numerous challenges and obstacles, such as crossing treacherous rivers, navigating difficult terrains, and avoiding predators like lions, leopards, and crocodiles. Despite these hardships, the benefits of following the rains far outweigh the risks as it enables the animals to access fresh food and water throughout the year. In summary, the Great Migration is driven by the seasonal changes in rainfall, vegetation, and food availability in the Serengeti ecosystem. This natural phenomenon has shaped the behavior and survival strategies of millions of animals who must adapt and overcome various obstacles to ensure their survival in this ever-changing environment. Now let's talk about the various challenges and threats faced by the migrating animals during the Great Migration at Serengeti National Park. It's important to remember that this journey is not an easy one, as these animals face numerous obstacles and dangers along the way. One of the most significant threats to the migrating animals is predation by predators like lions, leopards, and crocodiles. As the herds travel across the vast plains of the Serengeti, they become prime targets for these predators who rely on the migration as a major source of food. Lions, for instance, strategically position themselves along the migration route, waiting for the perfect opportunity to strike. Similarly, crocodiles lie in wait at river crossings, ready to snatch unsuspecting animals as they struggle to cross the treacherous waters. Speaking of river crossings, this is another major challenge faced by the migrating animals. The rivers in the Serengeti can be quite deep and fast flowing, making them extremely difficult to cross. Even the strongest of animals can be swept away by the strong currents or become injured by rocks and debris. Moreover, the chaos and confusion during these crossings can lead to stampedes, which can result in injury or even death for many animals. Apart from predators and river crossings, the migrating animals also have to navigate through various hazardous terrains, such as rocky outcrops, steep hills, and dense forests. These obstacles can be physically exhausting and dangerous, especially for young or weak animals who may struggle to keep up with the pace of the migration. In summary, the migrating animals of the Serengeti face a multitude of challenges and threats during the Great Migration, including predation by lions, leopards, and crocodiles, the dangers of crossing rivers, and navigating through. Despite these difficulties, the animals continue to undertake this arduous journey year after year, driven by the need to find food and water in the ever-changing landscape of the Serengeti. Moving on, let's explore the ecological significance of the Great Migration and its impact on the Serengeti ecosystem. This spectacular natural event plays a vital role in maintaining species diversity and the overall health of the environment. Firstly, the Great Migration is crucial for maintaining a balance between herbivores and the vegetation in the Serengeti. As millions of wildebeest, zebras and gazelles move in search of fresh grass and water, they graze on the vegetation, preventing it from becoming overgrown. This grazing promotes the growth of new plants and helps maintain a diverse and healthy grassland ecosystem. 
The migration also benefits other species in the ecosystem, including predators and scavengers. As we mentioned earlier, predators such as lions, leopards, and crocodiles rely on the migrating herds as a vital source of food. Scavengers, like hyenas and vultures, also benefit from the migration as they feast on the carcasses of animals that succumb to predation or other challenges along the way. Another ecological benefit of the Great Migration is nutrient cycling. As the herds move and graze, they leave behind vast amounts of dung, which serves as a natural fertilizer for the soil. This helps to enrich the soil and promote the growth of new vegetation, ensuring a continuous supply of food for the migrating animals and other herbivores in the ecosystem. In addition, the Great Migration helps maintain genetic diversity among the migrating species. As animals from different regions of the Serengeti come together during the migration, they have the opportunity to mate and exchange genetic material. This genetic mixing is essential for maintaining the long-term health and resilience of these species. In summary, the Great Migration is an ecologically significant event that plays a critical role in maintaining species diversity and the overall health of the Serengeti ecosystem. The promoting the growth of vegetation, supporting predator and scavenger populations, facilitating nutrient cycling, and maintaining genetic diversity, the Great Migration ensures the continued vitality of this unique... Now, let's talk about the best times and locations within Serengeti National Park to witness the Great Migration. So you can maximize your chances of... Ex the Great Migration is a year-round event with the animals constantly on the move in search of fresh grazing grounds and water. However, there are specific times and locations throughout the year that offer particularly spectacular viewing opportunities. Between January and March, the herds can be found in the Southern Serengeti, where they gather to graze on the fresh grasses and give birth to their young. This is an excellent time to witness large numbers of wildebeest, zebras, and gazelles as well as numerous calves and foals. From April to June, the herds begin their journey northward as the dry season sets in and the rains move towards the central and western Serengeti. This period offers the opportunity to see the animals traversing their vast plains, with the peak of the migration occurring around May and June. Between July and September, the herds reach the northern Serengeti and the Mara River which marks the border between Tanzania and Kenya. This is perhaps the most famous and dramatic part of the migration as the animals must cross the crocodile infested waters of the river. The river crossings usually take place between late July and August, making this an ideal time to witness this thrilling spectacle. From October to December, the herds begin their journey back south towards the southern Serengeti, following the short rains that rejuvenate the grasslands this is another great opportunity to see the animals on the move as they traverse the landscape in search of fresh grazing grounds. In conclusion, to maximize your chances of experiencing the Great Migration, plan your visit to Serengeti National Park during one of these prime viewing periods. Keep in mind that the exact timing of the migration can vary from year to year, depending on factors such as rainfall and food availability. It's always a good idea to consult with local experts or tour operators to get the most up-to-date information on the movement of the herds. Happy wildlife watching. Lastly, let's delve into the cultural and historical context of the Serengeti and its relationship with local communities as well as the ongoing conservation efforts to protect this unique ecosystem and its iconic wildlife. The Serengeti has a rich cultural and historical background, with various communities having inhabited the area for thousands of years. The Maasai people, in particular, have a strong connection to this land and its wildlife. Traditionally, the Maasai are semi-nomadic pastoralists who rely on their livestock for sustenance and cultural identity. They have coexisted with the wildlife in the Serengeti for generations, developing a deep respect and understanding of the natural environment. In recent years, however, the Serengeti has faced numerous threats, including poaching, habitat loss, and human-wildlife conflict. 
These challenges have prompted local communities, governments, and conservation organizations to work together in an effort to protect this unique ecosystem and its wildlife. One such initiative is the establishment of Serengeti National Park in 1951, which has played a crucial role in conserving the area's biodiversity. The park, along with the adjacent Ngorogoro Conservation Area and Masai Mara National Reserve in Kenya, forms a vast protected area that safeguards the habitat of the migrating animals and other wildlife species. Community-based conservation projects have also become increasingly popular, involving local communities in the management and protection of their natural resources. These initiatives aim to provide sustainable livelihoods for the communities while promoting the conservation of the Serengeti ecosystem. Conservation organizations and governments have also implemented anti-poaching measures such as increased patrols and surveillance, as well as educational programs to raise awareness about the importance of wildlife conservation. In conclusion, the cultural and historical context of the Serengeti is deeply intertwined with the local communities who have lived alongside the wildlife for generations. The ongoing conservation efforts to protect this unique ecosystem and its iconic wildlife involve collaboration between these communities, governments, and conservation organizations.